it going, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill, and yes, of course, it's time for another pop off with Madison. For today's pop off, I am obviously talking about the one and only Tristan Thompson. Honestly, my upper lip sweat is already starting. I'm already so irritated because this man, as I'm sure you all have already seen, has confirmed he is a father yet again. Tristan Thompson confirmed on his Instagram stories that he is the father of Marley Nichols' child. He also had a measly apology for everyone involved and an even more measly apology for Khloe Kardashian because as you all know with Tristan Thompson confirming this news that he fathered another child with another woman that was also him confirming that he once again cheated on Khloe because the two were publicly together when this child was conceived. It is a freaking mess and a half and since Tristan Thompson actually posted those Instagram stories Marley Nichols has also released her own statement and shocker not shocker she's not here for Tristan Thompson's apology and in addition to that we also have to talk about Khloe's ex-husband Lamar Odom because he also entered the chat and also commented on this entire situation. You guys, I'm telling you, the tea today is piping freaking hot. I'm not even gonna waste any more of your time and let's get straight to unwrapping these Tristan Thompson facts. All right, so a real quick recap for those of you who need it. A few months back, a woman came forward by the name of Marley Nichols, and she filed a lawsuit against Tristan Thompson, claiming that he was the father of her child, and she was suing him for pregnancy costs and child support. Tristan did immediately respond to this lawsuit, admitting that he did have relations with Marley Nichols, although he claimed that it was only a one-night stand on his birthday. She says it was a five-month on-and-off-again relationship, but whatever. In addition to all of that, Tristan Thompson also demanded that there be a paternity test. Now, while we've seen Tristan Thompson go through a cheating scandal before. We know that normally in a cheating scandal, Tristan Thompson is calm, cool, and collected, but this particular scandal, Tristan Thompson was different. One, a Snapchat message surfaced online where Tristan Thompson was allegedly seen offering Marley Nichols $75,000 to just go away. He also said he didn't want anything to do with her or this child. And two, Tristan Thompson also tried to have this case taken to the state of Texas because he claims that's where him and Marley Nichols had their relations. He also tried to claim that Marley Nichols owned property in Texas, which is not true. He reportedly wanted the case to take place in Texas to try to limit the amount of child support that Marley Nichols could get, but we know that that attempt by Tristan Thompson massively failed because a judge in Texas said, <laughs> sorry, Tristan Thompson, this is a case for California. Basically, you get the picture. Tristan Thompson was doing the most in this situation to try to not face the consequences of his actions with Marley Nichols. However, Tristan Thompson can no longer avoid those consequences because the paternity results are in and Tristan Thompson is is the father. Tristan Thompson confirmed that the paternity test came back positive over on his Instagram stories. He posted this message first saying, today paternity test results revealed that I fathered a child with Marley Nichols. I take full responsibility for my actions. Now the paternity has been established. I look forward to amicably raising our son. I sincerely apologize to everyone I've hurt or disappointed throughout this ordeal, both publicly and privately. Mm -hmm, sure you do. Then Tristan Thompson went on to offer an apology specifically to Khloe Kardashian, because as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, whenever he had these relations with Marley Nichols, he was still with Khloe technically at the time. And if you remember on Tristan Thompson's birthday, Khloe Kardashian actually posted an Instagram post for him talking about how they're meant to be. It's just so bad looking back on that Instagram post knowing the whole time Tristan Thompson was, well, as we all already knew, still cheating on Khloe. Anyway, back to Tristan's Instagram stories. Here's the message he wrote for Khloe. He said, Khloe, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve the heartache and humiliation I've caused you. Yeah think. You don't deserve the way I have treated you over the years. Duh. My actions certainly have not lined up with the way I view you. I have the utmost respect and love for you regardless of what you may think. Again, I am incredibly sorry. Now, while Khloe Kardashian has been quiet in regards to this situation, at least she's been quiet at the time of me filming this video. Marley Nichols, on the other hand, is not staying silent and she actually released a statement. And let's just say she is not here for Tristan Thompson's lame apology. Her rep released a statement to multiple outlets, but I'm reading the statement that they released to People Magazine saying, quote, there was never any doubt that Tristan Thompson was the father of Marley Nichols' baby. Tristan made numerous false and defamatory statements and declarations about Marley over the past few months, and she is taking his contrite statement today in the context of all of those statements. Basically saying, yeah, Tristan Thompson, I saw your apology, but I haven't forgotten about the other statements you made in regards to myself. Now, in addition to Marley's statement, as I told you guys at the beginning of this video, Khloe Kardashian's ex-husband, Lamar Odom, also decided to enter the chat and give 
give his opinion on the situation, and he did so on a Facebook post. According to E! News and comments by celebs, Lamar Odom responded to this Facebook post that was discussing Tristan Thompson's apology, and as you can see, Lamar Odom responded saying, quote, I truly wish nothing but the best for her, and I'm hoping we can reconnect and talk one day as friends. She's a good person, and she deserves the world. All right, you guys, I obviously am so freaking ready to pop off about all of this and give you my opinion. I know I did a mini pop off yesterday. I just wanted to give you guys the information, but now we're really gonna get into my opinion because obviously I cannot give it to you in the time limit that Instagram allows. So let's go ahead and make this pop off official and get to an extra large shambong. That was fast and I appreciate it. <laughs> you guys, is this just not the most wild thing? I, I just can't. Oh. Okay, so here's the thing. I feel like we were all about 90% sure that those paternity results were gonna come back positive. However, what I personally didn't expect was that Tristan Thompson would be the one to confirm those paternity results over on his Instagram story. Because normally, as we all know, when it comes to Tristan Thompson, that man never owns up to anything. Again, I wanna bring up when the Jordan Woods news broke, he tweeted, fake news when we all know that it was the furthest thing from fake news. I'm just saying, this man never owns up to anything publicly. So the fact that he was the one to take to his Instagram story and confirm the paternity results, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little shook. And you know what? I don't blame Marley Nichols at all for seeing that first Instagram story, reading it and being like, mm, okay, that was a lame apology. What am I supposed to do with that after you've been trashing me nonstop, both privately and a little bit publicly? If I were Marley Nichols, I would be like, oh, Tristan Thompson, it's convenient that you're saying sorry now, but you weren't sorry when you sent that horrendous Snapchat message offering to pay me off so I would go away. You weren't sorry when you tried to take the case to Texas to try to limit the amount of child support I could get. You weren't sorry during any of that, but now that you you look like the bad guy, now all of a sudden you're sorry. And now all of a sudden you wanna raise our son together amicably. I don't know about you all, but I would absolutely need some time before I let that man around my child if I were Marley Nichols. Because that apology to her at the end of that little paragraph was absolutely not it. And then let's get into his apology to Khloe Kardashian because this guy, I just, he absolutely sucks. If you actually have the utmost love and respect for someone, you do not treat them like Tristan Thompson has treated Khloe Kardashian. I don't care what that man says in his Instagram stories. This has just got to be the absolute biggest line of BS I've ever heard. Tristan, action speaks so much louder than words and your actions have been so damn loud that your words at this point mean absolutely nothing. I mean, Khloe Kardashian is not only the mother of your child, but she's also the mother of your daughter. And what kind of example are you setting for how a man should treat a woman or even beyond that for how a partner should treat another partner. It's just absolutely so sad to me. You would think that when you have a child, especially when you have a daughter, that it would have changed Tristan Thompson's perspective on how he treats the women in his life, but clearly that's not the case. It also just really mind boggles me how this man could continue this behavior after Khloe Kardashian had forgiven him for what, the third time at this point? Like not only were you messing around with Marlene, Nichols, but don't forget about Sydney Chase. She's also part of the situation as well. I just can't wrap my mind around how somebody can be one way to one person, how Tristan Thompson could be this dad and boyfriend and want to be around the Kardashian family when he's with Chloe, and then be somebody completely else over on Snapchat. Again, I hate that it's on Snapchat. It makes it sound 10 times sleazier. And if you guys don't know why I'm talking about Snapchat, it's because Tristan Thompson admitted in court documents that he only ever communicated with Marlene Nichols via Snapchat. I don't know. I just I just feel like this whole thing, well, yes, it is tea filled, it's wild, all of those things. But at the end of the day, these people are real people and it's just incredibly sad. For everyone involved, at least that's just my personal opinion. And as far as Lamar Odom's addition into the chat, you guys know I do have a soft spot for Lamar Odom. And I know some of you are gonna be like, wow, Madison, that's so hypocritical. How can you like Lamar Odom and then absolutely just destroy Tristan Thompson all the time? And here's why. One, I've actually met Lamar Odom before and he was absolutely lovely, but more importantly, Lamar Odom Odom, yes, did he screw up and did he cheat on Chloe and did he do some horrible things? He absolutely did. But the difference between Lamar Odom and Tristan Thompson is that Lamar Odom has owned up to every single thing he did to Chloe. He has owned up to every single thing he put her through and he genuinely apologized. He said, you know what? I did A, B, C, and D and I am so sorry. I know that we will never move past this. I know you may never forgive me, but I acknowledge what I did and I apologize for it. And that's why I'm a little easier on Lamar Odom as opposed to Tristan Thompson 
Allison. However, in this situation in particular, I do not think Lamar Odom needed to comment on this situation at all. Again, don't mind the guy, but he did not need to insert himself into this situation. That was completely unnecessary. I know that sometimes my boy Lamar needs a little bit of press, but I just feel like it was completely inappropriate for him to comment on this situation. It was just absolutely not the time and Facebook was absolutely not the place. Now, as far as where we go from here, honestly, you guys, I just hope that Khloe Kardashian finds happiness. I personally think she needs to be single for a while. I think she needs to just, you know, keep focusing on True, which obviously we know she does day in and day out. She is a fantastic mom. She has her family around her. She obviously has millions in the bank. So I know she's going to be okay physically, but as far as emotionally, I feel like she just needs to really take some time for herself, really take some time to re-get to know herself because I feel like the old Chloe would have never put up with this Tristan Thompson mess because I really do believe that Chloe deserves happiness and she really deserves a happy ending after going through all of this mess with Tristan. I will say though, I hope after all of this, Chloe Kardashian gives that man absolutely zero, 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 zero chance of ever reconciling, ever weaseling his way back into her life. I hope that this is the final nail in the Chloe and Tristan coffin because whoy, I don't know how you come back from this. If you try to come back from this, I don't even know. I, I would just have upper lip sweat for probably a whole entire year at that point. <laughs> As far as Tristan Thompson, I hope genuinely that he learns from this situation. I really, really do. I really hope that he learns that his actions have consequences. You can't just tell somebody you love them and respect them and not behave that way. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have some doubts, but maybe a few years from now, we're gonna be sitting on the set of my talk show. Tristan Thompson's gonna be sitting there and I'm gonna be like, you know what? I really used to drag you back in the day, but you've owned up to your actions, you've apologized. I respect it. I have my doubts. Out, so that's gonna happen, but you never know. It could. And yes, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep manifesting that we get our own show here in the House of Hill. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you on Tristan Thompson. I hope you enjoyed this pop off. I wanna hear all of your thoughts and feels down below. While you guys are at it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. For more content, make sure you guys follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to keep coming back to my channel to check out my YouTube shorts. You guys can also find all of my merch over at my merch store at houseofhill.com. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.